What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. This video is going to be looking at how Arsenal beat West Ham by a goal by a scoreline of two goals to zero in the English Premier League that takes Arsenal into fourth place temporarily, jumping past West Ham and moving up the Premier League table. And before we get into the tactics behind the match, please check out both my books. They're online on Amazon and there's links in the description below. Also be sure to check out Keyframe, it's how I made this video. And let's get right into the tactics behind the match. So in Arsenal's defensive phase, they went with two players in the center striker position, playing in a 4-4-2. Then their midfielders would drop a little bit deeper, especially against this West Ham buildup, because West Ham have a very direct style of play that didn't see them trying to create advantages in their first third, and they didn't create superiority in their first third to then progress the attack. They were very direct and used a lot of verticality to then move up the field, so Arsenal were able to drop off a bit and concede more space in front of the Arsenal defensive block because West Ham didn't use this as much in their 4-2-3-1 shape. Now with West Ham possession, a few different trends is we saw Declan Rice take up more of a central position. As we see, mo a lot of the times he would drop into the left half space, but with Declan Rice playing more centrally, he became more of a dominant pivot and allowed Suchek more freedom to get forward. Then we have our back four with our freedom from our fullbacks to get forward and then controlling the center of the field and the rest defense would be the central defenders. Now between the lines, we'd see very narrow wide players of Jared Bowen and Fornals occupying the space between the Arsenal lines and manipulating their defensive block. From here then, with Declan Rice being at the base of a midfield three, it gives Lanzini and Suchek a lot of freedom to move forward, overload the space between the lines, or offer solutions via connecting the ball to these advanced area spaces. And with Arsenal playing with a back four and a four-man midfield, it creates opportunity to overload the space between the lines as we see Antonio and Jared Bowen doing now. So with Antonio dropping deeper, it offers solutions with Jared Bowen running in behind or creating height. And the same with four Niles on the weak side, occupying four Arsenal defenders, making their shape very compact. Now this is crucial for the West Ham side because by overloading the space between the lines, occupying multiple defenders based on their positioning. It creates space in the wide areas to either progress through via the advancing fullbacks or runners making diagonal runs through the half spaces and looking to get them behind. Now with Arsenal in possession, they were very strong in their buildup and they always have this sense of playing out from the back and as we've seen lately, they've gone away from it a little bit more when the match gets crazy, when they take a one or two goal lead, then Arsenal have gone in a more direct route limiting the amount of risks they take when they do have the lead. But in recent times, we've seen how effective they can be when they have a good, clean initial progression past the high block. And the high block from West Ham, as we see here, an off-centered front three in a 4-2-3-1, so the wide midfielders can then progress on or go narrow. And when two forwards split a holding midfielder, or a wide midfielder jumps, it usually elicits a spark from a fullback to then push on and allow teams to defend with more of a numerical equality rather than keeping a plus one central defender. And as always, we see Thomas Partey playing as a single pivot in their buildup, allowing Granite Shaka to move more freely in the left half space and Odegaard through the right half space. Now moving into the midfield third, we have our back four with asymmetry with Kieran Tierney coming back into the side, creating full width on this left-hand side. Tomiyasu inverting a little bit more narrow on the inside part of the wide corridor, creating an asymmetric back four in terms of the width that the fullbacks provide. We have Thomas Partey playing as a lone pivot at the base of a diamond midfield shape with three advanced players, Lacazette dropping deeper with Martinelli on one side and Saka on the other, creating height, trying to then stretch the back line. So what this would often create is Lacazette as the free player because of the hesitancy of the central defenders from West Ham to jump and pressure Lacazette in this deeper role. So what it would create, would it create a four versus three in midfield? As we can highlight the midfield three from West Ham using their number 10 and interchanging their 
defensive roles with their number nine, Antonio, playing in a 4-1-4-1. So now we have a four versus three with Lacazette joining the midfield and with our wide players oriented very much towards the fullbacks of Arsenal. We have a clear option to create superiority and potentially get on the ball if the defender does jump with a third man movement, getting Thomas Partey on the ball. Now moving higher up the field, we have Thomas Partey joined by Shaka on the left in the left half space, taking advantage of Shaka's left foot. Tomiyasu inverting in the right half space to create more solidarity in the rest defense shape, with their two center defenders being at the base of a W rest defense shape. Then this gives freedom to the players higher up the field. Here we have Martinelli inverting, allowing then Kieran Tierney to progress through the wide corridor with Shaka coming deeper at the base of this wide structure. And so now this puts Martinelli closer to goal and more goal scoring situations. And in the high block, not as much width is provided via Saka, allowing him to then invert as well, giving him the ability to take up more dangerous space towards goal. And then Odengard playing more of a free roam based around the right half space between the lines against a low block of West Ham of a 4-1-4-1. So as we see here, a very spatially oriented 4-1-4-1, trying to condense the space between the lines, but with the amount of players that Arsenal have occupying multiple defenders, similar to how West Ham did it, but Arsenal took better advantage and had a much tighter rest defense shape that allowed them to control West Ham in transition very well. And that's where we're going to wrap up the analysis. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.